following is a presentation of WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. Thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Boys Basketball. WLCN's coverage of Rail Splitter Basketball is sponsored by Bees Landscaping for all your outdoor landscaping projects and needs. Located at 1302 State Route 10 East on the east edge of Lincoln. Call 217-732-4300. Brian Clark State Farm Insurance for home, auto, life, and health insurance needs. See Brian to review a quote, for help understanding your current policy, or to get started on your personal price plan. Stop by the office at 628 North Chicago Street in Lincoln, call 217-732-6211, or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Chase Lowry, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 407 Keokuk Street in Lincoln. Learn how Chase can help you reach your financial goals. Visit edwardjones.com or stop by the office, member SIPC. Culver's of Lincoln, home of the Butterburger. Stop by before or after the game, located at 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Dara Entwistle, independent health insurance agent. Call 217-737-7581. Darren Powell, State Farm Insurance, located on the square in Mount Pulaski at 114 East Cook Street. Offering competitive rates on auto, home, life, and business insurance. Phone 217-792-3371. Expedia Cruises, offering air, land, and sea vacations. Located at 1520 East College Street in Normal, call Greg Phillips at 309-429-6280. First National Bank in Tremont, your local community bank that strives to build relationships and is trusted with your community's financial needs. Located at 710 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Visit TremontBank.com to learn more about products and services. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center. Located at 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and to attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Find them on Facebook or learn more at myfgec.org. Heartland Community College is Lincoln's Community College. At Heartland, you'll get the personal attention and support you need to be a successful student. Discover Heartland, discover your future. Visit heartland.edu slash Lincoln. Lincoln Land Communications, located at 1326 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Serving the area since 1986, Lincoln Land Communications provides sales and service for security cameras, two-way radios, commercial phone and sound systems, LED lighting, car stereos, and much more. Call 217-735-5454. Me Realty, locally owned and operated, Me Realty is Logan County's top producing real estate agency year after year. Call 217-735-5424 or browse listings online at merealty.com. Sal Polis, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 1400 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln, phone 217-732-4001. Schneider Masonry, family owned and operated in central Illinois with over 40 years of experience serving builders, contractors, and homeowners. Free estimates available, call 217-314-9654. United Community Bank, located at 2201 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln and online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank is the leader in community banking and stands ready to help both individuals and businesses. Phone 217-735-5400. Thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Rail Splitter Basketball. Good evening, Railer fans, and welcome to Lincoln Railer Basketball. It's time for the Josh Comnick Drow Incorporated and Schneider Chiropractic pregame show. And I'm your host, Josh Comnick. And we're on the road in Chatham as the Railers get ready to take on the Titans from Chatham Glenwood High School. In just a moment, I'll be joined by Scott Kirby as we break down tonight's matchup. We thank you for joining us on the home of every Lincoln Railer contest this season. WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. 
Again, Ramblin' fans, thanks for joining us here on a Friday night in Central State 8. Play getting set for the Railers and the Titans here from Chatham Glenwood High School. The Railers coming to the contest with a record of 10-5 and five on the season and 3-1 and one in Central State 8 play. While the Titans from Chatham Glenwood check in at 9-6 and six and a perfect 3-0 and oh in conference action. 12-20 left on the clock here in the warm-ups. Both teams out getting ready for the game. Let's send it back to the studio for a quick break. Scott and I will be back here in just a couple minutes from Chatham Glenwood. You're in the ground corporated and, and Schneider Chiropractic pregame show and you're listening to Lincoln Raylor Basketball. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Back Railer Nation here from Chatham Glenwood High School. Getting set for the Railers and the Titans here. Josh Komnick along with Scott Kirby and Lloyd Kirby here in the ground incorporated and Schneider Chiropractic pregame show. And Scott, uh, nice to be back here in Central State 8 action after the uh, long couple days at Collinsville where the Railers finished up two and two on the uh, couple days. Back here for just one game this week, so a little bit of a rest for the Railers as they practiced all week and got ready for this uh, three and one as the Railers come into the Central State 8, three and oh for the Titans. Uh, should be a good one here from Chatham Glenwood. Yeah, you're right, Josh. And, you know, being off for seven days after having a tough two final games over in Collinsville, saw some really good teams over there. And now you're going to see the same tonight here in uh, Chatham Glenwood as we know what these type of games Games usually end up being low scoring, hard fought. Uh, so you're for the offensive uh, minded fan, you know, you might be a little disappointed tonight, but it uh, should be a good game. Well, as long as the Railers have one more point than the score, uh, than the uh, Titans, we're not too concerned about how many points get up on the board. The Glenwood Titans come in averaging 50 points per game while giving up 45. They're 9 and 6 on the season, while your Railers scoring at a clip of 44 points and hovering right around the 38 point margin uh, giving uh, points given up and uh, I was able to come over and watch this Chatham Glenwood team play uh, Mount Zion on a night that we had off and Carson and I figured let's go watch some basketball and uh, Mount Zion won here and shot lights out but this is a big, big physical basketball team that uh, Glenwood uh, can impose on you their guards are good size um, and their post guys aren't great underneath but uh, do have some size and some athleticism so probably a different tale than what we saw in uh, Collinsville where yeah. we saw just a ton of speed in those four games. Uh, a little bit, as you said, uh, maybe not quite as up and down and as much pressure as what we saw in Collinsville, but Coach Blakeman back at the helm here at Chatham Glenwood has always been a, uh, a big 
big guy on the uh, the pack line defense, pack it in, and don't give the Railers much pe penetration inside. So tells me the Railers are going to shoot it well tonight. Yeah, you talk about speed and size, Josh, and you know we saw that in Collinsville and Old Fallon. Just uh, the speed and the physicalness of 4A schools is, you know, you know a top a little above the 3A school, so I don't know that they'll see that kind of physicalness, but, you know, Glenwood, like you mentioned earlier, they're always physical and uh, ready to play under Coach Blakeman, who had a little hiatus there for uh, two or three years and, and now back coaching. Figured out he hadn't had enough. He's coming yeah. back to uh, back to the high school well, ranks. Coach Al comes back, he comes back. Yeah, he, and he's a good one. He's a good yeah. one over uh, on the sideline for Chatham. Chatham did play O'Fallon and uh, lost 62-56, to 56, so they gave uh, the uh, Panthers, I believe, from O'Fallon everything they wanted. The Railers did not fare as well against O'Fallon, so really the only two comparable uh, teams. Although I did see Secretary Griffin. They did beat Secretary Griffin 48-34, to 34, and the Railers took care of them on their opening night in the Central State 8 as well. We'll kick it back to the studio for one quick more break, and we're back here from Chatham. You're in the ground incorporated in Schneider Chiropractic pregame show, and you're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Illinois. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the IHSA and the Illinois Athletic Directors Association. Welcome back, Railer fans here from Chatham Glenwood. Getting set for the Titans and the Railers here on a Friday night in Central State 8 play. Again, the Railers come into the contest with a record of 10 and 5, 3 and 1 in Central State 8 play. For the Titans from Chatham Glenwood, 9 and 6 and 3 and 0. Oh. The only game for the Railers this week as they'll have a busy schedule next week with three games uh, Tuesday, Friday, and when the Quincy Blue Devils come to town on Saturday night. Josh Comnick along with Scott Kirby and Lloyd Kirby. And uh, Scott, you, re you uh, got through uh, Christmas, through the New Year's, and back here for Railer basketball. Doesn't seem possible already that we're back here after New Year's already, but this uh, season has gone by. We're going to have a ton of games in the next month and a half. Yeah, you're right. And in three games this week, we got uh, Springfield Tuesday, and then two tough ones, uh, travel to Lamphere Friday, then at home against Quincy on sa uh, Saturday. So, yeah, a, a tough little stretch here for the Railers, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, we're midway through the season now, Josh, and uh, we got to be playing our best basketball. 15 games in on the season. Uh, got usually around uh, 30, I, I think, scheduled in the regular season. That's going to wrap it up for us here on the pregame show. After a word from our sponsor, Scott and I will be back here in Chatham to bring you the play-by-play -play action as the Railers take on the Titans. As always, a big thank you goes out to all of our sponsors. This has been the Josh Comnick, Growl Incorporated, and Schneider Chiropractic pregame show, and you're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit SF Insur Go Railers! Lincoln 
Lincoln Railer basketball is on the air. Good evening, Railer fans, and welcome to Lincoln Rail Splitter Basketball. WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCN Sports are pleased to bring you tonight's contest from Chatham, Illinois, on the campus of Chatham Glenwood High School, as the Lincoln Railers take on the Titans from Chatham Glenwood. Good evening, everyone. This is Scott Kirby alongside Josh Komnick, Lloyd Kirby on the camera, and Claudette back at the studio. And we are all set to bring you all of tonight's action. We'd like to wish a good evening to all of our listeners that are tuning into WLC and 96.3 FM, listening on the Go on the Mixler app, or watching our live stream video on YouTube. We hope you enjoy tonight's broadcast. It's time to check tonight's list of the games sponsored by Me Realty. List your home with Me Realty when it's time to sell. And if you're looking to buy, check the listings at MeRealty.com. Josh, three keys to tonight's game. You're going to have to shoot it well, Scott. Uh, as we talked about earlier, Chatham likes to play that uh, in inside the lane defense where it doesn't really give you a lot of driving lanes, and they really body you when you try to get in there. So the Raiders are going to have to fill it up a little bit from the perimeter, something that we've not done well uh, as of late, and then uh, we're going to have to rebound. Chatham Athletic and uh, physical underneath, and, and I think also just get off to a good start. You know, you're on the road. Um, it's hard to win on the road wherever you go. It doesn't matter, and uh, it, more importantly, you got to get off to a good start to uh, come out here with a W and, and improve your record to 4-1 and one here in the conference. That's tonight's list of the game brought to you by Me Realty. When you're ready to list your home, contact the professionals at Me Realty. The Razors come in tonight's game uh, with an overall record of 10 and 5, with a Central State 8 conference record of 3 and 1, while the Titans have an overall record of 9 and 6, 3 and 0 oh in the Central State 8. We'll take another commercial break. We come back. We'll have more here on WLCN 96.3 FM. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Illinois. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the IHSA and the Illinois Athletic Directors Association. Titans here at Glenwood High School and 
players back out on the court, Josh. Uh, we saw a little bit of the first game, or all of it. The JV game didn't fare so well. Yeah. But you kind of got a sense of, you know, what we can expect tonight, you know, from the JV to the transition to varsity. And, you know, they moved the ball well. And we're just going to have to be physical and take care of the basketball. Yeah, man-to-man defense, uh, what the sophomores did. And, and when I came over and watched Chad and play Mount Zion, they did the same thing. Man-to-man defense. Uh, you'll hear a lot of Appenzeller, and uh, you'll hear a lot of Marshall tonight. Two of their leading scorers, both guards, uh, both juniors uh, for the for the Titans. And, and we hope you hear a lot of the Railers here tonight. We've got to get Hayes going. Remember, uh, back in Collinsville, Hayes just didn't get it going at all in those four games. And uh, we got to have the big guy scoring around the basket here. Uh, Schilling and Comnick are going to have to shoot it again from three and, uh, and we're going to have to handle the ball. They, uh, they'll do... They'll uh, do that that defense where it's uh, clogged up in the middle, and we'll see if the Railers try to get out and transition a little bit. And, Scott, one thing with the defense we didn't see a lot in, in Collinsville was the pressure that the Railers uh, have been accustomed to this season, putting pressure on the opponent. Uh, not a lot of pressure provided in those four games down in Collinsville. I think Coach, uh, Coach Al and his staff went back to the uh, back to the well and practice this week and said, um, we're going to have to apply pressure because that's the way we're going we're gonna to stop people. Yeah, apply pressure and, you know, offensively, you know, we struggled all season long. And we're going to have to just maintain our offense. Uh, hopefully, Comnick can get out to a good start. Uh, usually when Schilling, you know, hits that first three or so, you know, we get rolling. Uh, you know, but every possession tonight's going to be valuable. So we got to uh, eliminate the turnovers, take care of the basketball, and play tough nose defense like we have pretty much all season. Yeah, but we'll have to, we'll have to uh, play well. And it's hard to play here we've been we've been here not recently but uh, in the past it's always been a tough uh, tough place for the railers to come out with a w as you said always hard fought uh, games and uh, this will be uh, this will be a lot of the same let's take another commercial break we come back we'll have more in the opening tip here on wlcn 96.3 fm Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Anthem is over, and we're getting set for Central State 8 basketball here on a Friday night from Chatham Glennon. As we uh, love it when we can uh, sit courtside, as uh, we were in Collinsville way up in the second deck, but uh, we are courtside and gives you a good feel. Camera will be a good feel of how big and how fast these uh, high school athletes are. here and a strong strong attendance from our fans Railers coming to the contest with a record of 10 and 5 on the season 3 and 1 in Central State 8 play a 
Chatham checks in at 9-6 and six and 3-0. and oh. They were in the uh, Centralia tournament. I believe they finished third over in Centralia. And the Railers coming off their fourth place finish over in Collinsville. Starting lineups getting set for the visitors on the board, your Lincoln Railers. First man out, six foot and a senior. Number three, Schilling. Trey Schilling. 6'2 and a junior. Number four, Smith. Gabe Smith. 6'3 and a sophomore. Number five, Comnick. Carson Comnick. At the point guard position, 5'7 five, seven, five, seven and a senior. Number 10, Carson. Keon Carson. And the man in the middle, 6'5 and a junior. Number 30, Hayes. Drew Hayes. Head coach Neil Alexander, assisted by Greg Alexander. Eric Ewald, Brandon Bird Farmer, Josh J. McMillan, Zach Dom, and Gary Rademacher. And now the starting lineups for the Titans from Glenwood as they get their tunes pumped up here. We talked about earlier head coach Todd Blakeman. 6'5 and a junior guard. Number two, Cameron Appenzeller. At the other guard, 6'3 and a junior, number 10, Carson Doran. 6'4 and a junior, number 34, Jonathan Helm. At the other forward, 6'7 and a junior, Mason Newman. And at the other guard, 5'11 and a junior, number 20, Mason Marshall. The opening tip of tonight's contest between the Lincoln Railers and the Glenwood Titans. Tonight's tip-off sponsor, sponsored by Chicago Street Rentals, located at 1909 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. I'd like to jump it up. It'll be 6-7 Newman and 6-5 Drew Hayes in the middle. Balls up, tipped, and controlled by the Titans of Glenwood High School. Appenzeller left wing, guarded there by Schilling. Now they'll kick it out to Marshall. Marshall back with it. Now Appenzeller left wing, all the way across. Now Marshall's going to take a deep three off the front of the iron. No good. Carson with the rebound. Yeah, Raiders with their first position. Well, defense, of the difference on the defense got uh, Smith on a wing. Usually it's Comnick there and Smith on a block, but they've moved Comnick down and Smith out on the wing now. Raiders with the basketball. No score. Game just underway. Schilling drives right. Kicks in the corner to Smith, who couldn't grab it. Out of bounds. Turnover Raiders. Yeah, just too hard, too far to handle on uh, Smith as the pass from Schilling to Smith goes out of bounds and turnover. First possession for the Railers. Appenzeller crosses timeline. Now to Marshall. Over to Doran. Now back to Marshall up top. They'll feed down in the corner. Appenzeller three on the way. Off the rim, no good. And Smith with the rebound. Kicks it to Carson. He pushes right to Schilling. Yeah, you can hear Carson, or Coach, Coach uh, Alexander ready to push the basketball. He wanted Keon to push the ball and push the tempo here. Raiders working around. Minute 20's gone by here in the first quarter in Glenwood. No score. Carson goes right, pulls up, gets it up top. Now Comic left wing. He'll dribble right. Kick back to Carson. Now Schilling right wing. Smith right corner. Work it back to the left.
Trailers working the ball, taking some time off clock. Now Komnick kicks out, shilling three on the way. Yeah, got it. yeah. Great penetration there by Komnick. Shot fake got by his guy, Drew Schilling's man in, and then a quick kick to Schilling, as you called it earlier, Scott. We need that first three to go down by Schilling. Schilling with the Chris Coyne State Farm three-pointer. Raiders up 3-0. Three There's a deep three by Marshall. He can't answer. Rebound, Raiders. Yeah, great rebound by Smith. Komnick under there with a good box out, and Gabe went up strong to clean it up. Carson dribbles in, now kicks it out. They'll swing it to Schilling. Now Komnick to Hayes. Hayes dribbles in, nothing there. Now they'll reset up with Komnick's going to fire a three. And Komnick answers with a three of his own. And it's another Chris Coyne State Farm three-pointer. Yeah, deep one, too. Usually Carson is right on the line when he shoots him. A couple steps back of that one is a catch and go. So a uh, good start there for the Railers. Schilling and Komnick on back-to-back threes. Trap in the corner with Schilling. Now they'll get it inside to number 33. Block. Now the putback, no good. And we're going to get a foul on the Railers as Held went up. I so got it on Carson Tomnick, I think. And you like these seats. I like them. I mean, well, it's they're not right bad if you don't have a ref right in front well, of you. Well, that's true, too. You're going to have some referees and you have some uh, of those guys in, in your way. But uh, you really get to see the size and the speed of, of these high school athletes. Uh, just, just a different feel for me. I, I enjoy it. Kind of like you're in the big time, right? The big time guys oh, are on the yeah. court. Yeah, we're big time. Foul is on Komnick, his first team first. And both free throws were missed by Hell. Raiders up 6 0, three minutes fast in the first. Hayes in the lane. Now he'll dribble in, kick it out. Carson swing it to the left, now Schilling. Komnick left wing. Now they'll work it back to the right with Hayes, now Smith. Smith spins around, Schilling thinks about it, three, pulls it down, now Carson dribbles in. Dominic finds the lane, up, blocked, and the Titans recover. Yeah, that's a good drive, though. I don't mind it. You know, a lot of kids get discouraged when they get blocked, and they won't go back there. Hopefully, Carson and continues to go turnover back turnover Titans, Railer basketball. Josh, they've had... Six, seven days rest. The Railers, we looked a, a, a little step better. Two you're right. I was against gonna, Fallon. Uh, Tonight, great. it looks like we're, we're you know, well rested and yeah. uh, come out to play. Great point. Uh, and, and I think we're a step quicker, if not two, already here tonight. Raiders with the basketball up six. They find Hayes up off the backboard and good. We get Hayes and Schilling going. Gosh, uh, that, that, uh, that's a good formula for a good night. Yeah, opens it up there. A little pick and roll with Komnick and Hayes there. And Komnick delivered the pass right on the money. And Hayes, who struggled early on to get the, or, or struggled in Collinsville to get that uh, to get that layup to go. That one was with contact. Swarming defense by Railers. They knock it out of bounds. Going to stay at the Titans as Coach Blakeman wants a timeout. 3.58 to go in the first. It's the Lincoln Railers 8, the Glenwood Titans 0. We'll take a commercial break. We come back. We'll have more action here on WLCN 96.3 FM. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Illinois. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the IHSA and the Illinois Athletic Directors Association. Welcome back to Glenwood High School, home of the Titans, as it'll be Titan basketball coming out of the timeout. Raiders up 8-0, under four minutes to go in the first. Newman kicks it out to Appen Zeller. And we're going to get a foul on Carson as he reached in to grab it. 
And that's Lincoln's second team foul, first on Carson. Yeah, a little tip away, too. And I don't know if it's a late call, but Keon already had the ball, and he was going for a layup. Boy, you see the feistiness already that we were that we've shown in the first uh, ten games. Didn't see a lot of it in Collinsville, but as you said. Put up no good. And Schilling races out of there with it. Yeah, good start for uh, for the Railers here, up 11-0. Now Glenwood trying to get on the scoreboard. Appenzeller kicks it over in the corner. Marshall, three on the way, got it. Yeah, they move it around, and they can skip the ball. Marshall's their shooter. He's the guy that can fill it up from, from deep. 11-3 Railers, three minutes to go in the first quarter. Railers with the ball. Comnick dribbles left. Now swings it over to Carson. Now Smith left wing. Schilling left corner. Now they'll work it back to the right with Hayes and Carson. Defeat Hayes right corner. Now work it back around the top. Raylers working some time off the clock, working the ball. Carson's finding the lane, tries to dribble in, nowhere to go, and he got called for the travel. I'm not sure where Carson thought he was going there. Yeah, I think he was trying to get in the middle of the lane and create for a shooter outside. He just got a little too deep in there. I think uh, Keon, you'll, you'll like the, I love the aggressiveness, though, trying to get in the lane. Not a lot of Raylers are, are able and have done that. we got to get in the lane and kick out, and I think that was his plan. He just got a little too deep. 11-3 Raylers. Titans with the basketball. Newman backs down, stripped out of there, off of Comnick. He just picked up his second. Third team foul for the Railers. 2.07 to go in the first. And Newman's going to get two free throws. Like we might have some blood on a jersey. The 34 Helm has got uh, some kind of blood or something as he'll have to have somebody check in and have the trainer get a little bit of that taken off. Gowan sets to check in for Komnick. Komnick just picked up his second. to go in the first. Held's first three free throw is no good. Or Helm. I'm sorry, that's Newman at the line. And the second one from Newman up and got it. 11-4 Railers, 2.07 to go in the first quarter. Gowan in for Komnick. Gowan has a left corner. Now they'll swing it to the right with Smith. Now Schilling. Now to the left. Smith left corner. Well, I'd like to see if Smith can pull his head down and go by Newman. Big Newman, 6'7". Smith, a good athlete to see if he can get around him and get to the basket. Raiders working around the perimeter. Carson goes left. Now right to Smith. Smith's going to fire up a three off the rim. No good. Rebound Titans. Appenzeller kicks it over to Marshall. Marshall cut off there by Gowan. Now they'll reset up top of Appenzeller. Feed it to Marshall. Marshall for a three off the side of the rim. No good. Hayes with the rebound. 1-10 to go in the first. Raiders up. By seven, with the ball. Frank Sanders set to check in the next, next dead ball. The Raiders work it around. Carson right corner. Now you see Chatham won't come out and really pressure us much past the three-point line. Uh, 45 seconds to go in the first. Raiders working the ball up by seven. Now 
Carson will hold it near the half court line. Now he'll go left. Down to 30. Looks like Coach Alexander will want the last second shot here of the of the quarter. Railers up 11-4 here, about 20 seconds left. Down to 15. Carson dribbling up top near the half court line. Waves his teammates through. Now they'll set up a play with Hayes. Left elbow. Now corner. Smith. He'll dribble in up with the right yeah. and good. That's what he talked about, Gabe, with the with the speed advantage against Newman, and he went right around him and got the got the layup to go. And at the end of the first quarter, it's the Lincoln Railers 13, Glenwood Titans 4. We'll take a commercial break, come back with second quarter action here on Railer Nation Station, WLCN 96.3 FM. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. their defense is solid and you know able to get some points in the first quarter with some threes and some drives of the basket and we just you know we sustain this type of play for three more quarters i like our chances well you're right and, and of course uh, you sh you look good when you shoot good and the railers right now uh, scott shooting 71 percent from the field three of four from three point land uh we've got six rebounds so we're doing a good job on the offensive boards i think or on defensive boards i think chatham had a couple opportunities at uh, second chance points but uh, we've held them just one of nine from sh from uh from the field for Chatham, one of six from three, and uh, that's been this, that's been the tale. The Railers really scrappy, uh, really really moving their feet well, and right now Chatham struggling to find uh, you know shots to get even open shots. I think Marshall hit one here in the corner um, and uh, was able to get a three to go down, but that was uh, that wasn't an easy shot either. Going to be Railer basketball to start the second. Miller checks in for no, not Shilling. Miller is in for Carson. Big Frank Sanders is in. He's going to be shoved from the back. <laughs> Foul is on Appenzeller. His first, team first. Schilling inbounds to Sanders. Now Miller up top. Now they'll work it to the right to Gowan. Now back to Miller. Schilling left wing. Dribbles right, now kicks it to Gowan. Gowan over to Miller. Miller right wing, now they'll work it up top to Schilling. Now Hayes. Hayes going to dribble in, now kick it out to Schilling. Nothing there, they'll reset to Gowan on the left wing. Now back to the right. Try to get that mismatch down there with Sanders. Briefly had it. Now the Railers are working to the right. Gowan, right corner. Gowan, three on the way off the side of the rim. No good. Appenzeller with the rebound for the Titans. Yeah, good defense possession there. Uh, again, Titans all inside that three-point line. The Railers know with no uh, real driving lanes. Feed it in to Newman. Kick it over in the corner. Now swing it out to Appenzeller. He's going to dribble in. An awkward shot. And Hayes is going to pick up the foul. 
Hayes was straight up. Yeah, and I think he got caught, though, jumping. And at any time you jump and uh, the, the, the offensive guy gets into you, uh, more than likely they're going to call the foul. And that time Drew just got to stay straight up and keep his feet on the ground. That's Hayes' first personal foul. First team foul for the Railers. Free throw from Appenzeller is good. Four attempts in the first quarter for the Titans. They were one of four, now make them two of five from the free throw line. Second free throw from Appenzeller. Got it as well. 13 to six, Railers. 6.42 to go in the first half. Railers with the basketball. Feed it down low to Sanders. Well, back in. And Sanders going to pick up the charge. And that's Sanders' first personal foul. Team second for the Raiders. Now the Raiders will pick up the pressure. A little three-quarter pressure. Now the Titans get it across. Reset with Marshall over to Appenzeller. Back up top to Marshall. Appenzeller left wing. Now Anderson over to Marshall. Back up top to Dorn. Tried to feed it down low to Newman. Picked up trap there. Now they'll pick it out. Three on the way. Off the back of the iron, no good. Gowan tracks it down, hands off to Miller. Good job by Gowan to come back for that rebound. 13-6 Railers, 5.50 to go in the first half. Miller left wing, he'll dribble in, now back it out. Give it to Sanders up top, now Schilling. Schilling's going to fire a three, got it. Got it, baby. Schilling with their Chris Coin State Farm three-pointer. That's his second of the night. Raiders up by ten. Yeah, right off the screen, just came off the screen. One left-handed dribble. Stolen. Schilling read the pass, got a hand on it, it hit it out of bounds. Going to stay with the Titans. Good read by Trey there on a cross-court pass and went to go pick it off. Just tapped it away and tapped it out of bounds. But the Railer defense again, Scott, moving while that ball's in the air. Newman now out in the corner to Doran. No good. And Hayes with the rebound. And Apple, Appenzeller has picked too. up his second. Yeah. With 5.02 to go in the first half. So one of their better players is going to go to the bench with two. Connick on the bench with two in the first quarter. Appenzeller will go to the bench with two for the Titans. Helm's going to check in for Appenzeller. And the Raiders with the basketball up 10. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Schilling left wing. Let's we'll see if they can't get Schilling again on, a, on an open three here. Raiders working it around, up 10. Miller left wing, dribbles right, feeds Sanders up with the right, yeah. got it to go. Great pick and roll and a great pass by, by uh, Miller. And credit Frank for not stopping. He kept going and he got uh, real close to the rim. Miller with a perfect feed and Frank with a nice finish. 18 to six Railers, 420 to go. There's a drive by Newman up off the backboard and the foul and Hayes just picked up his second. I think they're gonna give, I think they gave it to Miller, I think. The No, they gave it to Schilling. All right, we'll take that. We'll take it. That's his first. That's his yeah. first. Three fouls on the Railers now in the quarter, two on Glenwood. Free throw up and good for Newman. Yeah, the Titans getting to that free throw line now. Four of seven in the half. 18 to nine Railers. Just about to the four minute mark. Railers with the basketball. Miller over to Gowan, right wing. Now up top to Hayes. Hayes dribbles left. Now gives it to Schilling, left wing. Kick it over to Gowan. Now up top to Miller. Schilling thought about a deep three. A little head fake. Feed to Sanders. He's going to back in. Nothing there. Kick it back ah. out to Miller. Miller gets to the lane, loses it. Now gets it back. 
Nowhere to go. Gets it to Schilling. Gowan up. No good. A little awkward off balance shot. Tapped away by Miller. Yeah, good job by good Brady. Good awareness by yeah, Miller. Yeah, you're right. Watching the ball as he's running down the court. Now three by three. Miller off the side of the rim. No good. Titans with the rebound. Well, it looks like Chatham just a little more sped up than they like to be. And that's credit to this Railer pressure defense so far. Deep three by Marshall is good. Deep one. Yeah, deep we've seen one. some guys lately shooting some deep ones on the Railers. We saw it in Collinsville, and uh, another one here from from uh, Marshall. 18 to 12, 250 to go in the first half. Schilling loses it now, gets it back, kicks it over to Sanders. Now reset up top with Miller. Miller's going to fire a three off the rim, no good. Six-point lead for the Railers. 2.30 to go in the first half. Tapped out there by Gowan from behind. And we got a trip on yeah. 33, Newman. Newman. That's his first. Gabe Smith and Keon Carson check back in for the Railers. Miller and Sanders will have a seat. 2.26 to go in the first half. Raiders up by six with the basketball. Carson goes left to Schilling. Now they'll feed Hayes at the free throw line. He's going to dribble in. Nothing there. Now they'll reset up top, work it to the left with Carson, now Smith. Back to the right. Got one now, Hayes right wing. He's going to fire up a three. Got it. Hayes with the Chris Point State Farm three-pointer. And the Raiders are up by nine. Yeah, big basket there by the by the junior. Now we've got to see if Hayes' man will come out on him a little bit. And Drew, once he gets to that lane, he's got to start shooting the basketball in there. Tapped away. Fought for. And Titans retain possession. Marshall. Over to Dorn. Now back to Marshall. Over to Anderson. Anderson left corner. They feed Newman. Great catch. Yeah, it was. I don't think it was for Newman. Three on the way from Anderson. Wow. Off the side of the rim. No good. Hayes with the rebound. Hayes will walk it up himself. Now hand off to Carson with 120 to go in the first half. Nine-point lead for the Railers with the ball. A long round top. Yeah, you a long time to, to hold. A minute. It. Yeah. yeah, it's a long time. That Chatham doesn't like to pressure you much past the three-point line, as we've talked about before. But a minute and 13, I think I saw when we first grabbed the ball, and that's a lot of time to hold it here. Looks like they've got a couple of Railers gassed out there. Hayes struggling to find his win, and Schilling has played this whole half as well. Now Keon will hold it, get it over to Gowan. Gowan to Schilling. Looks like the Raiders will try to hold for the last shot. And Carson will dribble it just past the half-court line with 20 seconds to go. Down to 13. Carson goes right to Gowan. Feed Smith right elbow. Out to Hayes. Right corner with seven seconds. Spins. Schiller, er, Hit Gowan. It, three on the yeah. way. Nothing but net for Gowan. And it's another Chris Coin State Farm three-pointer to close out the first half. With your Lincoln Railers 24. The Glenwood Titans 12. We'll take a commercial break. We come back. We'll have the halftime show here on WLCN 96.3 FM. Thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Rail Splitter Boys Basketball. 
WLCN's live video stream coverage of LCHS Railer Basketball is sponsored by Bees Landscaping. Brian Clark State Farm Insurance. Chase Lowry, Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Culver's of Lincoln. Independent Health Insurance Agent, Dara Entwistle. Darren Powell, State Farm Insurance. Expedia Cruises. First National Bank in Tremont. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center of Lincoln. Heartland Community College, Lincoln. Lincoln Land Communications. Me Realty. Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Sal Polis. Schneider Masonry. and United Community Bank. Thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Railer Boys Basketball. This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. Back here from Chatham High School as the Railers lead it here at halftime, 24 to 12 in Central State 8 play. We'll run through the scoring for both teams. First for the home team, the Titans from Chatham Glenwood. They were led in the first half by Mason Marshall. Marshall with six, four points for Mason Newman and two points for Cameron Appenzeller. The Railers were led in the first half by three threes from the man named Trey. Trey Schilling with nine, six points on two three-pointers from Carson Komnick. Five points for Drew Hayes. Two points apiece for Frank Sanders and also Gabe Smith. Again, the Railers lead it here at half, 24 to 12. Back here from Chatham Glenwood in just a couple minutes here in the Ground Incorporated and Schneider Chiropractic Halftime Show. And you're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 10.30 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 6.30. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Incorporated and Shot a Chiropractic Halftime Show. Josh Gomnick along with Scott Kirby and 
Lloyd Kirby here from Chatham Glenwood as the Raiders lead it here at half, 24 to 12. And Scott, uh, the Raiders came out and uh, probably executed a game plan about as well as you could. Uh, the Raiders with a ton of pressure provided by that 1 2 2 defense, uh, swarming everywhere, swarming hands. Uh, the guys were moving while the ball's in the air, something Coach Alexander has talked about for years. In order to play that 1 2 2, you've got to move while the ball's in the air. So when they catch it, you're there. We were up on them almost on every catch, and uh, that has held uh, the, the Titans to 12 points. Yeah, I love the aggressiveness first half, Josh, but still a lot of basketball to play. Uh, Coach Blakeman's going to get his kids, you know, some adjustments to make, um, and the Railers, I'm sure they'll make a few of their own, but, you know, just a great first half by the Railers. Uh, they look well-rested, and, you know, we hit some shots, a little bit of foul trouble in the first half with Comnick. Uh, so we'll have him back second half. You know, he hit a couple of big threes there. And for him to go on the bench hurt us a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, he'll be back second half and hopefully pick up where he left off. Chatham Glenwood shoots 20% from the field. 2 of 11 from three-point land for 18%. Five of, uh, 4 of 7 from the free-throw line. And you look at the scoreboard, 4 of their 12 come from the free-throw line. They're shooting 57%. They've got eight rebounds. Two of them offensive, three turnovers for the Titans. The Railers shoot it well, 9 of 16 from the field, 6 of 10 from three-point land. We have not been to the free throw line yet. We've got 10 rebounds, one of them offensive, three turnovers, and two steals. And uh, you look through the uh, stats, too, uh, Komnick and, and Trey with a couple of assists. And uh, we've talked about those two guys, uh, Trey with, with uh, three trays and uh, Komnick with two. Those guys are going to have to start coming out on them, and, and then we're going to have to start to continue to go or continue to go to the basket and be aggressive. I thought we've done a good job of getting in the middle. I think Komnick got in the middle of the lane and kicked it out for one of uh, Trey's three-pointers. Uh, got to continue to do that. You know, I think I think if you're Coach Blakeman, he's probably going to say you got to come out a little bit more here. We're going to have to stop this this basketball or this this weave that uh, the Railers have done and knocking off so much time and give them some more possessions to get back in this thing. Yeah, we haven't had a whole lot of opportunities in the paint. And, you know, we talked about adjustments. And if Coach Blakeman does bring them out, that's going to open it up for Hayes and Sanders down low and even some drives of the basketball or the basket that we have we didn't see a lot the first half. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what kind of adjustments both teams make. make and, uh, you know, hopefully the Raiders can continue their aggressive. Well, and I thought Hayes has gotten to the middle a few times and has uh, elected not to shoot it. And, and if he gets it in that, you know, six, eight-foot range, He's got to put it back. He's got to put it up there. Some good things can happen, whether it goes in or he gets fouled. Uh, the Railers have got to figure out a way a, a few times to get to the free throw line to get some some easy baskets. And and one of the guys that can do that is uh, is Hayes when he gets it in there. Yeah, you're right, Josh. Three minutes and 40 seconds left here in the halftime. Both teams have come out on to the floor. Again, the Railers in action next week as the Senators from Springfield travel to Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium on Tuesday. And then the Railers uh, travel to Lanphier, which I believe from rumor has that the uh, the Lanphier-Lincoln game will be the first game in the new gymnasium that uh, Lanphier has uh, constructed. So that will be something cool for uh, Railer Nation to head down to Springfield and check out the new gym along with a uh, an old time rivalry that we're looking to renew as the uh, the Lions and the Railers uh, take battle on a Friday night and then of course a long long time rival the Quincy Blue Devils come to Roy S. Anderson Gymnasium if you remember last year Scott the Railers traveled to Quincy and uh, fell to a last second three pointer yeah. I believe um, had a close one here and of course the Railers are going to have to play uh, really well all week next week yeah you know, Quincy, they played uh, Collinsville for the championship down there. So, yep. and, you know, played them a good game. And Collinsville ended up winning that one. But, you know, we know what Quincy's all about. Yeah. And uh, it's a very good basketball team. First things first is the second half here uh, in Chatham. Again, as the Railers lead it here 24 to 12, we'll send it back to the studio for a couple minute break. Back with more action here in the Ground Incorporated in Schneider Chiropractic Halftime Show. And you're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. 
A game without a crowd is just a scrimmage. A performance without an audience is just a rehearsal. Without your presence, high school sports and the performing arts aren't possible. Ensure that these essential extracurricular activities continue to enrich the lives of students in Illinois. Purchase a ticket to your local high school's game or performance. This message presented by the IHSA and the Illinois Athletic Directors Association. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. Welcome back to Glenwood High School as we are ready for second half action. The Raiders have a 24-12 lead and it will be Raylor basketball. Nope, it will be Glenwood basketball to start the second half. And here we go. Lob play, lob play. Three by Marshall off the rim, no good. Apple. Zeller there for the rebound. He's going to put it back up with the left. Left it short. Got his own rebound. Now puts it back up. No good. And we're going to get a foul on. A lot of contact down yeah, there, Josh. I'm not sure who they got it on. Grown man's game under yeah. there right to start the first possession. There's a couple of rebounds by Appenzeller. And then I think Helm grabs one. And they're going to give Hayes with the foul on the rebound. That's Hayes' the second. First team foul for the Railers. Now Newman's going to work in. Throw it up. Marshall there for the rebound. Now another offensive rebound and hit That's out of bounds yeah, off of Glenwood. Going to be Lincoln basketball. Good call, ref. A lot of second chances there for the Titans, Josh. Well, I, you're right. I, I think uh, Coach Blakeman said, let's let's go beat them up on the boards, and they exactly did that in the first possession. Three or four offensive rebounds for the Titans, and the Railers small underneath when we go with Tomnick underneath there, and Hayes uh, really got to battle their butts off for the rebounds. Raiders with the basketball up 12. Schilling's going to dribble in, feed to Hayes, left wing. Now Tomnick over to Smith. To Carson, work it to the right corner to Schilling. Smith going to dribble in. Jeez. A lot of contact, no call. As Helm bumped him, now Titans look to push. They'll kick it over to Appenzeller. Now Marshall. Feed Newman at the free throw line. He's going to dribble in. Going to call a foul on number five. That's Tommy third. So Gowan's going to check in for Tomnick. 6.45 to go in the third. Titans get it in. Now they'll feed Newman. Newman's going to dribble in. Contact and good. Raiders with the basketball up 10. Schilling will back it out. Get it to Gowan up top. Now Carson left wing. Allen picks up a dribble, now gives it to Carson, over to Smith. Raylers just taunting the Titans to come out and guard them, and they're not. Now they pick up a little pressure with Schilling with it up top. Smith left wing. Schilling. 
ceiling pull up for a jumper. I think it was partially blocked. And Schilling tried to hit it off a of Titan, but it stepped out of bounds in the process. Going to be Titan basketball. Yeah, a couple possessions there. Raylor's not with a, a really good shot there as uh, the Titan Glenwood uh, defense strong as it has been. Raylor's could not find an opening here. Now they're really trying to get the ball in the middle. They've gone to Newman several times here. Three on the way. Way long. Airballed it. Hayes grabs the rebound. Gets it over to Carson. 5.25 to go in the third. Raylor's up 10 with the ball. Schilling left wing. Dribbles in. Now kicks it out to Carson. They'll swing it to the right to Smith. Now Hayes corner. Go by him. Hayes going to back him down. Now kick it out. Five-minute mark here in the third quarter. Hayes dribbles in, kicks it out. Gowan, three on the way. Got it. Ooh. Gowan didn't know if it was going to get there. Oh, I, and I thought he was going to get blocked. Uh, Appenzel was right on him. Chris Coyne, State Farm, three-pointer for Gowan. Nice job by Hayes and dribbling in and getting his man to, to commit. Three on the way from Appenzeller, and Carson bumped him on the shot. Appenzeller's going to get three free throws. Yeah, and that's where Appenzeller's really the only points he's gotten so far. They're, uh, I think they're leading scorer, or second leading scorer on the season. He's only got two points, and both of them have come from the free throw line. Now he's going to go to the line for three. First one up and good for Appenzeller. Second one good. <laughs> Erickson checks in for the Titans as well as Jack Detro, a 5'11 senior. And Appenzeller makes all three free throws yeah. and cuts the lead back down to 10 Five for the five. Raiders. Marshall's going to dribble in. A lot of contact and the foul. I think they got Hayes. That's his third foul, too. So Marshall to the line for two free throws. I think they put a little bit of their speed in in the uh, lineup when they when they brought in Erickson and Detro and that immediately threw on the press for the Titans and uh, caught the Railers. I'm not sure if they caught him off guard, but Keon tried to dribble through a, a trap and um, didn't make it through. Marshall with his second free throw. Got that one. 27-18, Raylers in the ball. Dominic kicks it to Sanders. Sanders over to Gowan. Now the Raiders are reset up top. Carson dribbles in, kicks it. Gowan, right corner, three, off the side of the rim, no good. Detro with the rebound. We have seen this. This press already in two possessions have bothered the Railers a little bit. Turned it over in the first time. And it was a little sketchy on the on the play there. Newman picked up there by Sanders. Going to back him down. No call. Got Sanders on that earlier. And Newman dribbles in for the bucket. And then the Raiders having some trouble with the press. And Coach Al wants to call a timeout. Yeah, with 3.39 to go in the third, it's the Lincoln Raiders 27, the Titans 20. Full timeout for uh, for the Raiders. And this is really one of the first times we've seen a press I, I, that I can recall this season. We haven't seen it a whole lot uh, in the in the season, and it's bothered us so far in the first three possessions that the Raiders have had. We've had a turnover, got it down. To, uh, we, did, we did break the press uh, one time, and then that time Coach Al has to call a timeout. So... Um, 
it looked like the Raiders had sped up the Titans in the first half. Now the Titans trying to uh, do the same thing to the Raiders. Brian Clark, State Farm Insurance for home, auto, life, and health insurance needs. See Brian to reveal, quote, for help understanding your current policy or to get started on your personal price plan. Stop by the office at 628 North Chicago Street in Lincoln. Call 217-732-6211 or visit statesfinsurelincoln.com. Community Action Partnership of Central Illinois, helping people changing lives. America's Poverty Fighting Network. Call 217-732-2159 or find them online at capsule.info. Well, out of the timeout, and uh, Chatham pulls off the press. press. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, sir. Now they're going to go into a zone here, so the rail has got to be available here. Now Tom McHill dribble left. Now give it to Schilling. We got the two big guys at the top of that press, and they're Schilling with the three off the rim. No good. Sanders with the rebound, ripped out of his hands by Appenzeller, and the Titans with the basketball down seven. Detro to Marshall. Back to Detro. Feed in to Newman on Comet. Out the bucket for Newman and the foul. Picks up his fifth for fourth. Fifteenth foul on the Railers. Yeah, one of the Railers is going to have to take a charge on Newman. He's putting his shoulder in. I think, that, as you said earlier, Sanders did it in the first half and got a charge on, on the Railers. And, and so far, the Railers have not taken one in the chest. Give across, they do the shilling, and a push on number 23. That's Erickson. Picked up his first foul. Team first. Yeah, and this guy, you look up at the scoreboard, the Railers with five team fouls in this quarter. Any more fouls, and the Titans go to the free throw line for two. Lead is down to four for the Railers with 252 to go in the third. Schilling gets it into Gowan. Now kicks it up top to Carson over to Hayes left wing. He's up top, now left wing Gowan. Gowan dribbles right, kicks it over to Carson, now Sanders. Well, now this lineup, who, who wants to take the shots? Got uh, Hayes and, and Sanders out there both together, which uh, is tough for the Railers to handle the ball and, and do any kind of weave action in any drive. Feeling left wing, gets it to Hayes' elbow. He's going to dribble in, nowhere to go. Throw up at the right, blocked there by Erickson. And the Titans with the basketball down by four with 150 going to third. Feed Newman, free throw line. Now they try to feed Erickson on Sanders up at the left, in and out, no good. Rebound, Gowan. Raiders up four with the basketball, 130 to go in the third. Well, I'd like to see some sort of a back door if we can, Scott. We haven't tried one of those yet tonight, and it looks like the pressure for the Titans starting to pick up a little bit. Raiders work it around, down to 110. Now they'll try to take the air out of all, work some offense. Little run and jump, no good. Over to Hayes, now Gowan in the corner. Hayes feeds Sanders, now up to Carson, a little high. Carson able to grab it. Gowan wide open, three on the way. In and out, no good. Tapped out of there, tracked down off of the Titans. Going to stay with the Railers. Yeah, good hustle there by Gowan. He didn't corral the rebound, and I think Frank, Frank Sanders was under there battling for it. And then Gowan with a good hustle, I think tipped it off of Glenwood. 
the Railers will retain possession. Shilling to inbound with 42 seconds. Carson over to Gowan, now corner Sanders. Back up top to Carson. Down to 23, Raiders will hold for one. Yeah, I wanted to see if if uh, Coach Blakeman, as soon as we call a play, will try, try to do some run and jump here. Down to 12. Here comes Newman over to Hayes, guarded by Marshall. Up top to Gowan with five seconds. Back to Hayes. Hayes, Carson partially blocked. And going to be tapped out of bounds off of Newman. And that's going to do it for three quarters here in Glenwood. After three, it's the Lincoln Railers 27, the Glenwood Titans 23. We'll take a commercial break. We come back, we'll have fourth quarter action here on WLCN 96.3 FM. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Welcome back to Glenwood High School as fourth quarter action is about to start. Rose with a four-point lead and the ball. Only three points that quarter, Scott. Yeah, Rose. And we'll see how it goes, <laughs> goes here, Josh. But Glenwood's really picked up the pressure. Hayes picks up his dribble and now gets it to Gowan. Kicks it over. Out of bounds off of Schilling's hands. And a turnover on the first possession of the fourth quarter yeah, for the Railers. It's one, this one, three, one, one, two, two, whatever Chatham is throwing with the trapping up top early has really confused the Railers, and we've not been able to get good shots going. Glenwood with the basketball down four. Detro over to Marshall. Erickson back to Detro. Hands off to Marshall. Looking for Appenzeller. Now they'll feed him. Shot up on the way, no good. Sanders climbs up for the rebound, yeah. kicks it over to Carson. Good job by Hayes there. Just went straight up with his uh, and with a his foul hands. on Appenzeller. That's his third. Went straight up and made him shoot. Made Appenzeller shoot over the long arms of Hayes, and uh, off the rebound, Frank Sanders cleans up the board. Looks like Newman's going to check in now for Helm. Newman, the leading scorer in the game so far here tonight. He's got 11. Railer basketball. Well, it's a long up there, too. You got 6 7 and Newman and Keon trying to pass over, over the big guy. And just pass under him. Yeah. Hot passes. Gowan dribbles through the pressure, picks it up. And he's going to get called for the travel. Railers with only uh, two turnovers in the first half. They've got uh, six now, four here in the second half. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. Titans with the ball, down four. Now they're going to look to go to Newman. They got him at the high post. Big, a tough uh, matchup for the Railers right in the middle, of six, seven, long arm. Kick it out, Detro. He's going to dribble in, kick it out, Newman. Going to barrel his way through, block, and Railer basketball. Warner Gowan tapped out of there by Appenzeller. No foul, Hayes. Up Newman. Oh, God. There's hardly any contact there at all, and they're going to call Hayes with the foul. Oh, 
Now we got a little foul trouble. Actually, a lot of foul trouble now. Hayes, Hayes with four. Is that what you got, Scott? Four for Hayes. Four for Komnick. As, Ch as Komnick's going to check in with his four fouls. Timeout on the court with 6.28 to go in the ballgame. It's the Lincoln Railers 27, the Titans 23. The Carpet House, the professional design team, will work with you 100%. Satisfaction. Stop by the showroom at 1320 Woodlawn Road or call 217-735-2531. Chase Lowry, your Lincoln Edward Jones financial advisor, located at 407 Keokuk in Lincoln. Learn how Chase can help you reach your financial goals. Visit edwardjones.com or stop by the office. They're a member of SIPC. Chicago Street Rentals, located at 1909 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Phone 217-735-2422. It's only showing Hayes with three on the scoreboard. There's a deep three by Appenzeller. Off the rim, no good. On the ground, fought for. Gowan comes out of it. Now Erickson and a timeout called by possession of the basketball, Blakeman gets the timeout. Yeah, I was moving around pretty good there, and it looked like uh, Gabe Smith had gone down for the for the jump ball, too, and uh, Blakeman right on it with a uh, timeout call. Chris Coyne State Farm Insurance with offices in Lincoln and Atlanta, offering great rates on home, auto, life, and renter's insurance. Call 217-732-7755. Clovers of Lincoln, home of the Butterburgers. Stop by before or after the game. Located at 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. There it is. So independent health insurance agent. Call 217-737-7581. 6.20 to go in the game. Titans with the basketball. Down by four. They're going to feed in Newman. Tipped out of there. Now here comes Smith. He's got Schilling to the left. Smith up with the right. No goaltending. Count the bucket. Yeah, goaltend. He slapped the bank board yeah, as the did. ball was up on the bank, as a, as a, as it was up on the bank board, and we'll take it. Uh, two points needed for the Railers. So a goaltending call on the Titans. Count the basket. Railers up by six with 6:13 to go. Newman at the free throw line, going to back down Komnick, up under with the left, and good. Yeah, not a lot of, not a lot Carson can do there with, uh, with the size of Newman. Hayes, pick it up to Schilling. Cross court. Schilling goes left, now backs it out, gets it to Carson up top. Raiders up four with 5.40 to go. Got to have in somebody the basketball in the middle. like we got to have somebody in the middle here against this zone. so long it's tough for the railers to to pass around finally they found Schilling in that corner now they'll feed newman kick it out detro loses handle it dribbles around Schilling up with the right throws it up no good hit out of bounds off of smith going to stay with the titans yeah i've got to have uh, i think coach greg alexander telling drew take a charge there he's coming in full bore cover up and uh, wear one in the chest Marshall inbound for the Titans. Kicks it out to App Appenzeller up top. Now three on the way from Marshall. Off the rim, no good. Fought four right down into Schilling's arms. And he's going to be fouled on the arm. Boy, it's physical underneath there. Anytime the Railers get a rebound, they are all over us. And that's what has happened when you can't swing your elbows and, and arms and anymore. called on Detro. Three team fouls now 
on Chatham. So Raylor's getting close to that, uh, what do you want to call it, double bonus, two free throws, whatever it is. We'll see who Coach Alexander will send to the free throw line here. Schilling's had the hot hand. Might not be a bad idea. Looks like they're going to send Tomnick to the free throw line. So the Raylor's will get two free throws and the ball with 4.43 to go, up seven. And Schilling, the senior, to the free throw line to shoot the technical foul shots. First free throws for the Railers on the night. Schilling up and good. He's got 12, now 13 points on the night for the senior. Second free throw up and no good. That's all right. Railers will retain possession here. And time for a, uh, a chance here for a, a three, four point possession. It's going to be Railer basketball right in front of us. Up by eight with 4.43 to go on the ball game. Hayes to inbound. Kicks it in to Carson. Over to Hayes, crosses the timeline, bounce pass to Tomnick, all the way across court to Carson. Now back to Hayes. Hayes dribbles through the pressure, and he's going to be hit on the arm by Appenzeller. That's his fourth. Yeah, four, team, four foul on Appenzeller and the fourth on the Titans, which is even more important. Any more fouls as it's going to get chippy, and they're going to bring up the pressure even more. That the Raylers got a chance, hopefully, to get a couple of free throws. Newman's going to check in for Appenzeller with 4.31 to go in the ball game. Raiders up eight with the basketball. Hayes to inbound, gets it into Carson. Where they bring Back it to Hayes. Now here comes the trap. Bounce pass to Carson. Kick it over. Comic three on the Short. way. Off the rim, no good. And Carson will get the rebound. Now the Raiders will reset. Carson, little ball fake. Now kick it over in the corner. Three on the way. Schilling, no good. Track down there. And off of number 10, going to stay with the Railers. Good hustle by Tomnick as he hit it off number 10, Doran, and it's going to stay with the Railers on their own baseline. Yeah, tough spot to take it out, too, right in the corner here. And 12 checks in for the Titans. Colton Knadler. Colton Knadler. Raylers with the ball, just about to the halfway point of the fourth. Up eight. <clears throat> Schilling, right wing, up to Hayes. Now they'll swing it to the left to Carson. He'll dribble back up top. What about a backdoor play here, Scott? Titans back in there man-to-man. -man. Here comes the trap. Now they'll back it off. Carson goes right, grabbed there by 24, Anderson. Keon will step through the free throw line for two. The Raiders in the double bonus the rest of the game here. Keon yet to crack the scoring column, but no better time than right now with a couple big free throws. First one in and out, no good for Keon Carson. Raylers one for three from the free throw line on the night. Sanders checks in for Carson, a little defense for offense. Carson, second free throw up and got it. Nine point lead for the Raylers. Yeah, keep him in front and keep your eye on, on Marshall. He uh, went out with the technical. He's back in now, and he's their, he's their shooter. Newman's going to dribble one up with the right up, and no good, in and out, no good, and it's going to be off of Newman. Going to be Raylor basketball. Yeah, watch the pressure now. Comnick going to check back in probably for Sanders here, and they're going to bring up this full-court press that they have started here in the second half. Get it into Carson. Now here comes the trap and tapped out of there. Here comes Marshall. No foul. Hayes picks it up to Smith. Smith. Fake. Speed Schilling. Swatted out of bounds. Newman swatted Schilling, but it's going to stay with the Railers. Yeah. 
Good pass there by Smith, though, and just had Newman coming from the backside. So the Raiders got to continue to continue to go to the basket here. Raiders with the ball up nine, 315 to go. Appenzeller all over Comet. Now they're working to the right to Carson, right wing. A little head fake, kick it out to Smith. Smith's going to dribble in, kick it over. Hayes up with the right. And they're going to get Hayes with the charge. Yeah, probably a good call. Mason Marshall was set there. Uh, thought it might have been a little far underneath the rim, but he was set for a long time. It's his fourth. 254 to go in the game. Raylor's up nine. Yeah, he's and in a lot of foul trouble. Yeah, you're right. He can't be on the bench too long here. Titans. Marshall pushes across. Now backs it out. Now goes back to his left. Guarded by Smith. Smith with a foul. Three team fouls now on the Raylers here in this quarter. Zeller to inbound, gives it to Marshall. Feed it in to Newman. Kick it over, out of bounds as Knedler couldn't handle it. Turnover Titans, Raylor basketball. Yeah, Comet took an elbow right in the face from the long arms of Newman. Kind of rotated those elbows around and caught him right in the eye, it looks like. Right eye, a little, yeah, little red, right. a little swollen. Yeah. Going to have to have somebody in the middle here for this pressure. They do. They give it to Schilling. Kick it over to Comnick. Now Comnick wisely backs it out to Schilling. Now Carson. Carson dribbles right to Schilling. Shivling. 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 I can't even talk now. You're shivering. Yeah. The nerves are kicking in. Kick it over to Carson. Now back to Smith. Smith. Nowhere to go. And he's going to be pushed from behind. If it's on Appenzeller, that's his fifth. But it's on Newman. Foul, third foul for Newman. And the free throws for the Railers. Yeah. I think this is going to be the tail of the game here, Scott, as uh, the Titans have obviously ramped up that pressure. They're being really aggressive. The Railers can step up and give this thing, uh, keep that comfortable lead up. First one from Smith is good. So Frank will check in for Hayes, I guess, probably for uh, defense so he doesn't get a foul here. But one, if we do get a rebound, we got to have Hayes back in there for ball handling. Second free throw up and good for Smith. Two clutch free throws for Smith. And the Raiders up 11 with 2.10 to go. Feed Newman, kick it over to Marshall. Picked up by Smith. Now Marshall's going to dribble in. Yeah. Call the charge on Marshall as Comnick's there. Got hit in the chest. And Marshall picks up the foul. That's his second. Detro checks in for Marshall. And Hayes to inbound for the Railers. Up by 11. Two minutes to go in the ball game. Kick it into Schilling. And Schilling gets it there at the half court mark. <laughs> like a football pass. Get it up there and get it. And he was immediately trapped yeah. from that pass. And a good call by Coach Alexander. So he'll be able to set something up right in front of the Railer bench. Eaton Corporation building over 5 million high quality commercial and residential power distribution products each year. Check them out online at eaton.com. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center located at 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Pastor Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 10.30 and to attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 6.30. Find them on Facebook or learn more at myfgec.org. Ground Incorporated, serving Lincoln and Logan County since 1953. Located at 1905 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Phone 217-735-4444 or go online to growlinc.com. 158 to go in the ball game. Raiders up by 11 with the basketball. Hayes kicks it out to Carson. Carson scoots to the left, now crosses the timeline. Here comes the trap. Now to Smith. Smith, nowhere to go. 
And Appenzeller yeah, bumping foul. her. Who are they going to call it on? I think they called it on Appenzeller. Or Newman. I think they got it on. Oh. Called on Detro. He wasn't even there. But that's all right. Yeah, we'll take the free throws here. <laughs> Smith with two more free throws. For the Railers. Railers caught it in a couple bad spots there. First one up and no good from Smith. Against this 1-3-1 one, one as uh, Keon got it in the trap and got it over right on the tight on the sideline to uh, Smith. He didn't have anywhere to go with it either. And we kind of got lucked out there with the foul as Smith misses the this is the first. Come on, Gabe, put this one in. Second one, Smith up and no good. Appenzeller with the rebound. They push it left to Marshall. Yeah, get on Marshall. He'll be ready to shoot here. Now Appenzeller thinks about launching a deep three. Now he does. Up and no good. Fought four underneath. Schilling tracks it down. Throws it up court. Appenzeller gets it there. Now they feed Newman. Newman up with the right, in, no good. And Comic just picked up his fifth, but I thought Comic had a pretty decent position Looked there. like he was inside. And Newman went over his back. In position. Not a whole lot Comic can do there. He was in position for the rebound, and Newman just flew in and hit it, and they called Carson Comic for the foul. Yeah, I thought Carson could have got, drawn a charge on Newman when he hit him right in the chest and flopped over. More times than not, they're going to get that uh, charge call. He didn't get it, and then Newman missed it and then went right over Carson to get the foul. First free throw from Newman is up and good. 36-26, 1.24 to go in the ball game. Second free throw from Newman up and good. Yeah, this thing's far from over, Scott. Just a nine-point lead for the Railers, and we've seen this pressure hurt the Railers. Schilling gets it across, kicks it to Gowan, left corner. Now Gowan bounce pass to Hayes. Hayes back to Gowan. Gowan's going to dribble in, pick up his dribble. Now get it to Carson. Carson dribbles through the pressure, and a foul there on Newman. That's his fourth. And Keon Carson will get two free throws. Two big free throws yeah. here, Josh. Ray was up nine, 106 to go. Four of eight from the free throw line on the night, Scott. And uh, as you said, no bigger than here, right here. Continue to get this thing to a uh, 10 or 11 point margin. Free throw up off the front of the rim, no good. Smith, Gabe Smith is going to check in for Drew Hayes. Second free throw from Keon. Missed it. Rebound, Appenzeller. One minute to go. One minute to go here in the ball game. Raiders up nine. Stolen away. Schilling comes out of there with it, and he's grabbed there by Newman. And Newman just picked up his fifth. Yeah, great tip away there. I think Keon got a hand on it. And then uh, Aiden went for it, and then Trey actually picked it up. So Trey will send, will head to the line. Schilling with 13 points here on the night. Trey, one of two from the free throw line so far. Schilling with two free throws. Railers up by nine. 56 seconds to go. Free throw up and good. Good. Like to see the Railers just get on the free throw line or free throw line. Just it's always different when you don't see your teammates up there, don't you? I, mean, as I always thought that as a shooter. Now Gowan will go in, or now Keon will go in. Gowan will step out. At least they got one guy there. Just just a little refresher that you got uh, got your guys with you. Second free throw up and got it to Doesn't go. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Schilling with two, two big free throws. Skip Ray, Schilling yeah. 15 on the night. Raiders up 11 with 56 seconds to go in the ball game. Timeout on the court. The Grimaldi Law Office, Logan County's only law firm dedicated exclusively to the practice of criminal law. Phone 217-651-8089. Headline Salon, located at 602 and a half Keokuk Street in Lincoln. Call Brett at 217-651-8310. Headline Salon, where your hair makes the statement. 
Lincoln Printers, providing complete quality satisfaction at fast, fair price while, while utilizing modern technology and a creative flair. Phone 217-732-3121. The LMH Community Health Collaborative, improving the health of the people and communities it serves. Find them on Facebook to learn more about offerings such as the LMH Trailblazers walking program on Wednesdays. Me Realty, locally owned and operated. Me Realty is Logan County's top producing real estate agency year after year. Call 217-735-5424 or browse listings online at merealty.com. Go, good defense here. Don't foul and uh, secure some rebounds. Raiders up 11. Titans need a quick bucket. Appenzell is going to fire a deep three and get it. Gosh darn. You know, he's three steps, three to four steps behind there, just walks into it and makes it look like a layup. And this thing, again, is far, far, far from, from over. over. When you get the three-point line, now two timeouts left for – no, one timeout left for Blakeman. So that's <coughs> Coach Blakeman and the Titans. So that's a good thing for the Railers. But again, man, it always seems that you watch college basketball and you watch high school basketball all the time. Whenever that three-pointer is needed, doesn't it seem like to keep just keep a keep a team hanging around that they always hit it? They always hit always it. Hit it. Schneider Chiropractic, providing results for body reconditioning, back and neck problems, along with preventative sports injury procedures. Call 217-732-2140. Schneider Masonry, family owned and operated in central Illinois with over 40 years of experience serving builders, contractors, and homeowners. Free estimates available. Call 217-314-9654. And Tartar Brothers Mechanical at 602 Broadway Street in downtown Lincoln and online at tartarbrothers.com. 46 seconds on the clock. Raiders up by eight and the basketball. Hayes to inbound. Thinks about throwing it now. Now gets to Schilling. Schilling's bumped there by number 24. That's Anderson. And Schilling's going to go to the free throw yeah, line I'm not for sure. more I'm not sure Chatham was really wanting to foul there. You know, they got plenty of time here. They had a good trap on the, on the uh, way away from our basket. Not sure Blakeman wanted the foul. Good thing for the Railers. We got it. Plus, we're sending our, our hottest shooter right now to the free throw line. Railers 6 of 12 from the free throw line here tonight. Free throw up and good. Second free throw up, rolls in and out, no good. Raiders up nine, 43 seconds to go in the game. Marshall over to Appenzell, another deep three on the way off the rim, no good. Fought for underneath, pick it out. Marshall for a three, rolls around and good. And it's a six point game, Josh, with 31 seconds to go. Yeah. And the Titans just called their last time out. Again, another, uh, <laughs> another offensive rebound for the Titans. Give them a seven here on the night. And it led to a kick-out three for Marshall. We talked about it. Just a couple three-pointers away. The Raiders are going to have to be able to handle the ball here and then uh, step up and make some big-time big free throws. All out of uh, ever sponsoring. So yep. we'll, we'll just keep it right here with 31 seconds to go, Josh. Raiders, yeah, 7 of 14 from the line, uh, Scott. The Titans 11 of 15. Uh, they've improved their three-point shooter here in the last uh, shooting percentage in the last couple possessions now. They're just four of 19. But the big thing in here, Scott, handle the basketball, get it inbounds to one of your free throw shooters, and then probably step up to you. Although they don't have to probably foul right away. I mean, they can they can uh, see what comes out of the trap and then foul after that if, they, if the Railers can't get it out of a, uh, a fierce trap that's going to happen here right away. Possession arrow, arrow does favor the Titans. So here we go with 31 seconds to go. Raiders up by six. Full court press from the Titans, and Hayes will inbound. Gets it in to Smith. Smith fights around. Timeout called. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think Blakeman is furious about it, but. Well, the referee back here called the timeout. Coach Al called it. Yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the whole concerned about. But. Lincoln, Thirty seconds. Now time. we've only got one timeout left, yeah. Scott. So both coaches have exhausted their timeouts here. It seems to be in the last uh, I don't know about four or five possessions. Twenty-seven seconds to go in the game. Raiders up by nine. Oh, well, Railers are going to have to do another good job here of uh, setting some screens and getting the ball inbounds. Now Hayes cannot run the baseline, I don't believe. And he'll get it into Carson. Carson, nowhere to go. And Coach Al's going to have to call his last time out as they're just swarming that inbound, Josh. And... Yeah, we got, we've got to try to get something. To get more oh, you're right. Deeper yeah, deeper, 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 not in the corner. corner. Yeah. And especially if we can, not to Keon. Keon, just uh, no fault to him. It's just so small down there in the corner. And they get the trap on, and they're really being aggressive. I thought there was a couple fouls could have been called in that trap, but there wasn't. And um, luckily, we didn't turn it over. It was a close inbounds pass from Hayes to Keon just to get the ball inbound. All of the timeouts have been exhausted. Either team with no timeouts. And 24 seconds on the clock. Raiders up by six. Leading scorer here on the night so far, Trey Schilling. Schilling with uh, 16, the only man in double figures for the Raiders. He's four of six from the free throw line, so I'm assuming Coach is trying to get a some sort of a screen set for Schilling so we can get him the basketball. Here we go. Hayes to inbound. Gets it into Schilling. Schilling trapped in the corner, kicks it over to Smith. And Smith is going to be fouled there by number 24, Anderson. And... More big free throws. You're right, yeah, and, and, and just to, I think if you're a regular defense, some token pressure to try to give, the, to run that clock, because remember, no timeout, so even if Chatham makes it, that clock continues to run. Uh, Got to get one of them to make it a three-possession ball game. Raiders just up by six with 20 seconds to go. Smith with the second free throw. Got that one to roll. No fouls here, no fouls. Just uh, pre token pressure and get out on Appenzeller and Marshall. No good by Marshall. Appenzeller flies in there for the rebound. Schilling and Marshall fight for it. And we're going to have a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to the Titans. That's all right. A lot of time clocked off. And, and Hayes has to remember, if he's the guy that takes the ball out of bounds and that thing is under five seconds, just let it go. Just hold it. Yeah, no timeouts. They cannot stop the clock. Three on the way. Got it. Let it go. Hold it, Hayes. Hold it. And that'll do it here in Glenwood. Your final. Lincoln Railers 40. The Glenwood Titans 36. A hard fought battle tonight. And the Railers come away with the victory. We'll take a commercial break. We come back. We'll have the postgame show here on W. LCN 96.3 FM. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com.
This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked to order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Welcome back, Railer fans, to a happy Chatham Glenwood High School as the Railers are victorious here in Central State 8 play, improving their record to 11 and 5 on the season and 4 and 1 in conference action while Glenwood falls to 9 and 7 and the Railers give them their first loss in conference play, drop them to 3 and 1. We'll run through the scoring here. They were led tonight by their 6-7 junior May, uh, Newman Mason Newman, Newman with 15, 10 points for Mason Marshall, 8 for Cameron Appenzeller, and 3 points for Joe Anderson. Only four players in the scoring column for the Titans. The Railers were led by and had a huge game all around. Trey Schilling, 16 points for Schilling. Uh, Schilling, 4 of 8 from 3-point land, 4 of 6 from the three point, um, sorry free throw line. He had 5 rebounds to go along with 2 assists. 7 points for Gabe Smith. He was 3 of 6 from the free throw line. 6 points for Carson Komnick on some early 3-pointers in the first quarter. 5 for Drew Hayes to go along with 5 rebounds and 3 assists. 3 points for Aiden Gowan. 2 points for Frank Sanders and 1 free throw for Keon Carson. Again, the Railers win it here 40-36. to We'll kick it back to the studio. We'll have Coach Alexander here in just a few minutes. You're in the Ground Incorporated and Schneider Chiropractic postgame show and you're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Welcome back to Glenwood High School as the Lincoln Railers with a big win, 40 to 36 over Chatham Glenwood. Another big Central State 8 win for the Railers. And joining us now is Coach Neil Alexander. Coach, how's the blood pressure right now? Well, I, I think they want to do away with me. Uh, they, uh, 
<laughs> you know, we should have had that one and put that away pretty easy if we'd have made free throws. And, you know, we spend time shooting free throws every morning. And, you know, it's a whole lot different when the game's on the line and you're standing out there and uh, the pressure's there. But uh, I'm proud of the effort and how hard we played and the intensity that we played with. And, um, you know, it wasn't the same team that we saw down the last two games at Collinsville. But we'd also had a week to kind of recover and things and uh, was able to to refresh our legs. And, and we, we've been working a little bit on our conditioning. They don't like that part of the game. But uh, uh, we were able to play hard and uh, beat a very good Chatham team. A big first half for the Railers. And Glenwood went in at halftime, made some adjustments, put their two big guys on the point on their defense. And I've seen a lot of bounce passes today. You know, we had a hard time getting through that pressure. And, uh, you know, you don't see a lot of bounce passes in these today's game, but that was really our only option. Well, they swallowed up Keon, um, you know, and they were strong enough to keep him in the trap. Yeah. He wasn't able to get out of the trap. and uh, But we uh, we managed to hold on. You know, I think they crawled within three, yeah. and then we opened it back up to ten and uh, should have kept it at ten if you make your free throws. But uh, uh, we fought. Well, we talked about too, Coach, and I don't remember back. This might have been the first time we've really seen a press this year. It just hasn't happened a whole lot. I don't know what we've been up or down or whatever the case may be, but we just haven't had a lot of time to prepare or even go against a press in a game from someone else and and it kind of showed where we were uh, we got in some traps and some different spots that we shouldn't have got it into and, and we, like you said we made enough plays but we just haven't been pressed a whole lot this year. Well nobody wants to press us because usually you get the ball to Keon and Keon can beat the press himself and they were so big and long and strong that he couldn't get out around them to, to get away from it and uh, you know make plays so uh, but we were able to work the ball we done what we wanted to do except hit the free throws when we needed them and uh you know it, it was a very very good game for us I, i'm really pleased with the effort that our kids gave and and everything considering that uh you know the last week and the preparation was not good uh but i've said all along that the first game after christmas break and the week after christmas break when you're talking about practice and things is the worst week of the season um it's hard for them to come off a Christmas break. It's hard for them to go back to school. And uh, their thoughts are just not on basketball. And uh, it showed last week. So hopefully uh, things will get better and we'll prepare to get better uh, as we move on. Well, you talked about, uh, Coach, also uh, Mason Marshall, their leading scorer, or along with Appenzeller, give them 10 and 8. But the guy that hurt us, a uh, really physical player underneath, was the 6'7", Junior Newman. Um, Komnick, a little undersized under there, got some fouls, probably just being uh, not strong enough yet. And then he also drew some on Drew. And we were battling, uh, or you were battling with uh, Drew and Komnick with uh, foul trouble most of the evening. Yeah, we, we tried to rotate them in and out because we definitely wanted them on the court at the offensive end. And and uh, we were able to, to get away with, uh, with Drew, but um, Carson didn't quite make it. Yeah. So, uh, But uh, it's a very well-coached team. Uh, hopefully we can continue to take care of business and, uh, you know, come out of this because basically our uh, subsectional for the IHSA regional is uh, all Central State 8 teams and then uh, uh, Taylorville. So... Um, you know, we've taken care of them. We do get a rematch with Jacksonville, which next two, a week or two weeks from Tuesday on the 23rd will be a big, big game for us. But we've got some in between. Uh, we play Springfield Tuesday. Uh, then we go to Lanphier next Friday, and they open up their new gym. And uh, if you've seen any pictures of it, it is yeah, uh, phenomenal. Yeah. It, it's a uh, state-of-the-art gym, and uh, they'll have that place packed. So hopefully uh, Railers will help help the cause and, and fill every seat there and uh, hopefully we can uh, come out and uh welcome their gym the way we welcome their football field. Well, yeah, Coach, and your senior uh, Schilling had a huge night tonight. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. I think he hit the big one in the corner over here when we really needed a basket. He was uh, 4 of 6 from the free throw line. Really, the senior stepped up tonight and, uh, and was big for you. Yeah, I thought Trey played exceptionally well. Um, I thought he got maybe got tired a little bit. Yeah. I thought he could have exploded after a couple balls that were loose down there, but, uh, but he did have uh, maybe his best game of the 
the year and uh, hopefully hopefully we can continue to work with what we got and uh, uh, you know improve and, and be ready to play Tuesday and we talk about it all the time about playing the next one they can enjoy tonight but tomorrow we got to start thinking about Springfield and uh, they can uh, in really celebrate the year after we're done playing so it's a great group of kids uh, uh, and you know we just want to continue to get better and uh, we, we made a big step tonight I'll tell you one thing we did do and uh, we're, we're, we're still kind of playing with this team we're not quite sure where our personnel should be but the first half we moved Gabe and uh, flip-flop Gabe and Carson and Gabe was very very yeah, more active active up on the wing and yeah. was very strong on a couple of them and uh um, you know, we, uh, we're we still playing with this team to trying to find out where the pieces are, are fit best for the puzzle. So um, we, we were able to do both. Gabe played both, and, and Carson, I think, played both of them, and that's the way th this team is. They're, they're pretty um, able to rotate positions and play at different spots. Coach, big win, and we'll talk to you tomorrow on the cheap seats at the Hampton Inn. We'll have a uh, nice warm waffle waiting for you. Okay. You All butter right. it and have syrup on it. <laughs> All right. Consider it done. That's going to do it for us here in Chatham-Glenwood. Our next broadcast will be Tuesday at 7 o'clock as the Railers are at home to take on the Senators from Springfield High School. Our broadcast will begin with the pregame show starting at 6.30. Raiders now stand at 11-5, 4-1 in the Central State 8. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast. We know you enjoyed the outcome. We'd like to thank our listeners for listening, our viewers for viewing, and our sponsors for sponsoring. This has been a production of WLCN Sports 96.3 FM. We ask you to patronize our sponsors and say thank you for allowing us to bring you Railer basketball. For station manager Jim Ash, studio producer Claudette, cameraman and social media coordinator Lloyd Kirby and Josh Komnick, this is Scott Kirby. Good evening, everyone. It's time to send you back to the station for the classic rock experience on the Nighttime Fix 96. This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com.
thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Boys Basketball. WLCN's coverage of Rail Splitter Basketball is sponsored by Bees Landscaping for all your outdoor landscaping projects and needs. Located at 1302 State Route 10 East on the east edge of Lincoln. Call 217-732-4300. Brian Clark State Farm Insurance for home, auto, life, and health insurance needs. See Brian to review a quote, for help understanding your current policy, or to get started on your personal price plan. Stop by the office at 628 North Chicago Street in Lincoln, call 217-732-6211, or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Chase Lowry, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 407 Keokuk Street in Lincoln. Learn how Chase can help you reach your financial goals. Visit edwardjones.com or stop by the office, member SIPC. Culver's of Lincoln, home of the Butterburger. Stop by before or after the game, located at 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Dara Entwistle, independent health insurance agent. Call 217-737-7581. Darren Powell, State Farm Insurance located on the square in Mount Pulaski at 114 East Cook Street, offering competitive rates on auto, home, life, and business insurance. Phone 217-792-3371. Expedia Cruises, offering air, land, and sea vacations. Located at 1520 East College Street in Normal, call Greg Phillips at 309-429-6280. First National Bank in Tremont, your local community bank that strives to build relationships and is trusted with your community's financial needs. Located at 710 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Visit TremontBank.com to learn more about products and services. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center. Located at 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and to attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Find them on Facebook or learn more at myfgec.org. Heartland Community College is Lincoln's Community College. At Heartland, you'll get the personal attention and support you need to be a successful student. Discover Heartland, discover your future. Visit heartland.edu slash Lincoln. Lincoln Land Communications, located at 1326 North Kickapoo Street in Lincoln. Serving the area since 1986, Lincoln Land Communications provides sales and service for security cameras, two-way radios, commercial phone and sound systems, LED lighting, car stereos, and much more. Call 217-735-5454. Me Realty, locally owned and operated, Me Realty is Logan County's top producing real estate agency year after year. Call 217-735-5424 or browse listings online at merealty.com. Sal Polis, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, located at 1400 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln, phone 217-732-4001. Schneider Masonry, family owned and operated in central Illinois with over 40 years of experience serving builders, contractors, and homeowners. Free estimates available, call 217-314-9654. United Community Bank, located at 2201 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln and online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank is the leader in community banking and stands ready to help both individuals and businesses. Phone 217-735-5400. Thank you for watching WLCN's live video stream coverage of Lincoln Community High School Rail Splitter Basketball. The preceding program is a presentation of WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com.